And joining us now is Mr. Tomasz Halas, the co-founder of Trollwall AI, and who used to work as a community manager for the vice president of the European Parliament, Martin Hoysik. Welcome to TVP World. Thank you for the invitation. So I'd like to start off by asking, can you tell our viewers about your journey from working as community manager for the vice president of the European Parliament and then to co-founder of Trollwall AI? Thank you for the question. I was working as a community manager, so one of my responsibilities was taking care about the discussion and the comment section of Facebook page of my, Mr. Vice President of the European Parliament. And unfortunately, there was a lot of hateful comments and mostly after the full invasion to Ukraine, we get even larger amount. We are dealing it with my volunteers on a regular basis, manually or deleting, because we think that you have a right for, to free speech, but you don't have a right to hate. And there were a lot of hateful comments regarding uh, Ukrainians, mostly. So we were dealing with it manually, and I got just fed up with it. And I tried other tools if there is something uh, on the market, but unfortunately there wasn't. So I got together a team of IT professionals. We made the first beta version of the tool. We was deleting it automatically. And then we offered this service to the NGOs, uh, which were under attack as well. And also NGOs helping Ukrainians and so on. And we started the company and now we are operating in five countries. And we are used by institutions, businesses, uh, ministries, law enforcement, also NGOs, which we proudly support. What is tr Trollwall AI and how does it work? Trollwall AI is a web application which uses artificial intelligence to automatically check comments which are on the Facebook pages and Instagram pages of our clients. So if somebody writes comments, it automatically gets to our AI, which is trained specially for each language, because we understand that the hate and the swear swearing is very really cultural based. So we train specially for Polish, specially for Slovak, specially for German. And the AI decides on the data which it has if this is hateful comment, and we are going to the definition of hate speech, which is uh, recognized internationally. And if it is, it automatically hides these kind of comments. But the clients still see all the comments and have a full control. And we, because we believe in transparency, we believe the AI should be used in full transparent mode. And now, what was your uh, initial thought, what is your opinion about this uh, shooting that we have heard about that has happened in Slovakia of Prime Minister Fico? Uh, I was shocked. I was just going to the stage here in Impact in Poznan and I was, I was shocked as a, as a citizen. Uh, this is the first uh, political attempt to assassination in Slovak history of independence and we are all really, really shocked. And we condemn, strongly condemn this act of uh, political violence. We strongly think that nobody should uh, be afraid of his life when he's doing a political service. It doesn't matter if you vote for him or not. And uh, we are afraid that this will fuel even more polarization, even more violence on the streets. And we are very afraid of that. And we think that this is also the result of the polarization, which is also fueled by politicians, but also by the social media algorithms, which are very harmful. And as your Ministry of Foreign Affairs said yesterday here on Impact, we think as a society we should start thinking about uh, social media algorithms as something harmful, which could be regulated, even banned, because they should be not uh, uh, fueled. Uh, the violence in this, our society. Now, you mentioned the polarization. How do you think, how did this happen? How have we come so far that we have people who do these acts, who commit such acts of violence as to going out onto the street and trying to assassinate a prime minister? How do you think we came to this? Uh, the sociolog sociological polls show that there is a huge uh, distrust in the societies in whole Europe. We've been to so many crises in recent years. We had COVID crisis, energy crisis, Ukrainian crisis, and generally on top of it, it's all fueled by the social media, which make information bubbles. And ex they just show you what, what you believe in it already. So unfortunately, I think this is the result. And uh, we don't know uh, exact uh, motivation of this uh, shooter. And it seemed that he was not acting in part of some group. But we, we were afraid of this will happen. And there were information by the law enforcement and the security services that they might happen something like that. So um, we, we hope a strong recovery to Mr. Prime Minister as soon as possible. And we, uh, we are happy to see a huge solidarity in the society where people across the political aisles are strongly condemn this act of violence. But we are also uh, really sorry to see so many citizens are approving this kind of violence. And we see this in the comment section. Uh, 
our AI is hiding these kind of comments, but unfortunately, it's still there on social media profiles, which we have no, uh, uh, no power to moderate. What do you think should be done in order to try and, well, bridge uh, these people from different aisles uh, and different opinions and different walks of life in order to try and mitigate this issue of this polarization that exists? I think in this kind of situation which happen in society, then we need to see the strong leadership. And I'm very really thankful we have a President Zuna Chaputova who strongly condemned this act of violence. And we need to see uh, uniqueness, uniqueness uh, and strong support across the aisle from all the political parties, NGOs, society, that this is not the way how this, our society should work and nobody should be afraid of his life during the political discourse. And also I, I think that all politicians, all the media and all the social media should strongly work against hate, either online or offline. And uh, we in Slovakia, we launched an initiative already last year called Bez Hate Against Hate which uh, is a pledge to all the companies, institutions, they will not be, uh, do ha harmful and hateful uh, content and they will also moderate the discussion under their social media profiles. I'm um, happy to, that we will be launching this uh, initiative soon in Poland as well. But I think this is the one of the steps. I think we need to, everybody needs to act. And this situation where it's like strong feelings, everybody needs to look at himself and herself and think, how are you going to communicate in this kind of situation if I'm feeling the, the hateful and the polarization? Or just take a step back and think that we are all humans and we should be all just here doing, doing our political discussion in the normal common sense. Right. And what about, given your background and your expertise, do you think this incident might somehow influence the upcoming European Parliament elections? Definitely, yes. Uh, definitely, yes. Um, don't, we don't know how. Uh, I hope that it will go to depolarization and all the political parties will say that the, we even we, the, we don't agree on policies, we agree that hate doesn't have a space, but I'm afraid that it will be used by uh, some political actors and also by foreign interference by, from Russia to even fuel more depolarization in the upcoming European elections because we all know one of the topics on the European elections is our stand towards the Ukraine and uh, help Ukraine in fighting the Putin's war. That's right. So what do you think now should be done and how can um, regular citizens who will go to the polls to make this big decision, what should they keep in mind and what should they be maybe wary of while they are on the Internet? I think everybody who is going to polls and who is going to vote who should look not just if I agree or disagree with the policy of per person who I'm willing to vote, but also the type of communication. If the politician I'm going to give a voice are going to give a vote and is, will be my voice in the European Parliament is acting on, in, on hateful content, on hateful communication or is try, trying to uh, do depolarization which is really so needed now. Okay, and with that message we'll end it there. Mr. Tomas Halas, the co-founder of Trollwall AI, thank you very much for speaking to us here on thank TVP World.